Operation Finish the Bathroom is in full effect right now. I think I finally got the last coat of mud done. I have to give this a sand and then hopefully we will be good to go. The only bad thing is that I have to take this fan down and kind of patch it and then make a new hole because this is a gigantic fan light thing and the new one that I have is not that big at all. It's only like an eight by eight and this is I don't know, like 14 by 14. My mom is coming into town next weekend, so I am really hoping to have this bathroom done by then, or at least like really, really close. Really gets the blood flowing. My hair is like white from the sanding. Anyways, that was not fun at all. The over the ceiling sanding sucks. I haven't primed in months. Hello. Uh oh. Oh, it's freaking clumpy. Dang. There's definitely a couple larger clumps in here. Probably shouldn't use this, but this stuff is super expensive, so I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Hopefully it just leaves the clumps and yeah, like that, you know? We get the good stuff and leave behind the bad stuff. Freaking ceilings. I think it's time I put the gas mask on. That's better. I thought down here was gonna be a troublesome area, but it looks fine. I mean, who the heck is gonna be inspecting the wall? You know, like this close. Nobody. And this is only coat one. Once we get that second coat on there, it covers the drywall color a lot more. Let's go. Nothing like that two coat coverage. Crazy what a difference it makes. It really depends like how, like when you see blemishes, how the light is hitting it. So like when I was doing my last sanding to make sure that I was good, or actually, yeah, my last sanding, um, I had my flashlight like on the side so that way I could see more like things that were uneven because if you look at it like this, you can't see nothing and then you put the light to the side of it and that's when you see like the shadows and stuff from things. So right now, it looks good. When I put the other puck lights in, who knows if that might change things up, but I don't know. Hopefully not. We're just gonna keep moving forward, let this puppy dry overnight, and we'll see what I get into tomorrow. Am I gonna do the floor? Maybe. Maybe I'll tile some floor. See you tomorrow. And we are back. The paint dried up beautifully. My goal today is to get the tile on the floor. First though, I have to take this guy out. I did kind of like the progression of days for this bathroom build and I, I am on schedule if I keep up with everything, I could get it done by before next weekend, like right before next weekend. But in order to do that, I have to get this roof patched because I need to get it in the process of, of filling the holes and drying so that way I can do all the painting and whatnot. First, I gotta go kill the power. Honestly, I don't like working on electricity by myself. But uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, oh, I don't know which one it is though. <laughs> I think we got it on the first try, let's go. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. Oh, I don't have an attic light either? No, I think that's on a separate one. Yes, thank goodness. Let's do this. Hello? Man, it is hot up here. All right, at least we don't gotta go far. This is the contraption they had. When I put the new fan in, I'm gonna do a better job of making sure that it's going outside. Another stink bug, there's so many stink bugs. I don't know why. Should all, this should be dead. This is, I think this is the switch. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, you guys saw that, right? It literally just popped out. Unbelievable.
Oh. oh no, sorry guys. Come on. Yay. Oh. Hey, what's going on? Oh wow. I just got a cold breeze of air from down there. That feels nice. Great, now we just gotta patch it up. Well, damn, I better do a half decent uh, job of mudding. We actually should be able to put the power back on and not have anything go kaboom. So I double checked, everything was capped away from stuff. Here we go. Huh? So far, so good. <laughs> All right, now it is time to lay down the D-Truff. I've already swept up, taken off all like the lumps on the floor, all that stuff vacuumed. I just need to sponge it down, get all that extra dust off, and uh, then we should be good to go. Once I clean it off, I'm gonna pre-cut the D-Truff because I have a humongous roll. That's probably gonna be a nightmare and a half to maneuver, but that way, we are good to just quickly lay it out. It's kind of nice that this bathroom is, I mean, for this purpose, that this bathroom is not that big, because this is the first time I've done this, so it's gonna be a little bit of a learning experience. So it's nice that we don't have to do it on a, you know, massive 12 foot bathroom. Although a 12 foot bathroom would be freaking nice. Look at this massive freaking old Dietra that I got. I got it for both bathrooms. Nice. Beautiful. Wow, I got my two pieces and it literally looks <laughs> like I didn't even take anything out of here. I think I have enough detail for the next like five houses that I buy. Sick. Now we just have to embed it into the ground. I am going with the Schluter all set for the thin set to apply the Detra. And then for the actual tile, I did an uncoupling membrane, uh, different uh, map pie. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah. So I am going to mix up. Honestly, I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm gonna do half. If half works, then I'll have some left over to waterproof the shower, so that would be a plus. Yeah. Freaking heavy. 50 pounds. Now we gotta mix for five minutes. Got this guy all mixed up. I added just a touch more water in the middle of mixing, probably like, uh, I don't know, maybe like a quarter of a liter, just cause I felt it was a little bit thick. We just gotta let that sit for 10 minutes and then we'll do a quick mix and we're ready to go. For the trowel, I'm gonna be using this quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel. There is another one by Schluter that they also recommend, but I couldn't find it at the store. So I just went with this guy. And then I picked up this wooden trowel uh, I don't know, people on YouTube I saw were using this to kind of embed it into, into it. Let's try it. Ha! Look at me out here doing tile work like I know what I'm doing. Unbelievable. I feel like I'm forgetting to do something, which kind of sucks because I don't know what it is. But hopefully it's not important. Gonna get it. Hopefully it's good enough. 
All right, let's see if it's bonded. Let's go. That's some good freaking coverage, baby. I'm gonna get this other one knocked out, and then I'll be back. Another step done, and I am full of cement. That wasn't hard, just messy. A little bit messy, but we got it done. Next up is tile. The tile that I went with is these hexagon matte granite tile. What the? Oh, it's just dust. Oh man, I already know that no matter what I decide, something is gonna be off anyway. So, I'm just going to start it with a half and a half from the bathtub corner and work my way out. I got the thin set ready and I'm gonna just cut this first piece. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am getting a little thrown off with how these hexagons are gonna work with the cuts, so I think I just need to make the first cut a half, put it in and then just kind of build out full ones around it and then cut the pieces to fill the gaps. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Got this nifty little uh, wet saw, tile saw here thingy thing thing. Man, I don't like saws, but got it cut. Now let's see where these could fit. So if I put one of these guys here, and base it off of those, then I should have the bigger pieces here, and if I get a small part, it should be like behind the toilet, which wouldn't be a big deal. I'm using the uh, uh, quarter inch by quarter inch trowel for this. Oops. All right, so this guy, these people say to, Make sure it's completely covering inside of the membrane gappies. Oh. I'm, I'm being too messy. Oh yeah! Looks good, okay. This one's better, when I took some more, I think I had too much in the first parts. So this is gonna be, I'm just gonna have to clean it out once I, um, after, cause it's just too much. Too much sauce. And on that note, I am clocking out, ladies and gentlemen. Almost one o'clock in the morning, holy moly. We made it back, I'm feeling rejuvenated. Just finished wiping it all down, getting that haze off. As you can see over here, I had to redo a couple. Those little ones didn't grip well, uh, so I had to re-mortar them this morning, and I left them like that. I had these levelers on the like smaller parts of it, but I realized that's not a good idea because when I hit it, it's when it loosened it up because it's too tight up a spot. So I just put the spacers in there and, you know, hopefully it's close enough. I don't know where this little guy came from. How did you get in here, mister? Gotta get you out. I got another coat of mud on the hole in the ceiling. Hopefully, at the end of the day, I can give that a quick sand and another coat. I'm thinking I probably have one to two left. If I could finish it tonight or tomorrow morning, that would be great because I really hope to paint tomorrow. I'm going to grab a quick lunch and then I'm gonna come back and just basically clean out the grout lines, prepping. I'm not gonna grout till tomorrow. I just wanna prep the area while the mortar is not like 100% hard. It will be a little bit easier hopefully and just clean out those grout lines so that way when it's time to grout, we could just go in there. Boom, yeah, just like that. Dang.
Yeah. All right, see you guys tomorrow. So as you can see here, I covered up my toilet. Now this is definitely not what you want to do. So I intentionally covered it up. I didn't like do it by accident, but uh, it was just because I'm impatient. Basically I started to cut around it and then I realized, oh wait, if I cut this piece like this, it will have a grout line that's not supposed to be there. And then I saw that, oh, it's just one hexagon. So usually you would do this before it's installed, um, but I didn't have the hole saw and I don't really want to use a grinder. So I ordered the hole saw and I figured, let me try this. I have not grouted the floor yet. So hopefully, hopefully it goes smoothly, but if for any reason it does break, hopefully it just doesn't affect anything else. And I could, uh, you know, reassess that situation. But we're gonna give it a try right, right now. I picked up a four and a quarter diamond hole saw. I got some water here in a bucket to keep it wet while I drill it. And uh, yeah, let's just hope for the best. All right, we're getting somewhere. This is nerve wracking. I think I see some cement over here. It's out. Let's freaking go, baby! Woo! I am freaking stoked right now. This side is literally like right on. This side's a little bit, but yeah, I have a little bit of play there. So it really should be fine. Holy, nothing, nothing cracked. Wow, did we get lucky. Definitely don't do that once the tile's installed. That was risky business, but it's a good start to the day. Should frame this to signify my first solo tile job. Now it is bathtub waterproofing time. I was gonna paint the walls, but I completely forgot I have to waterproof the shower and let it dry before I, you know, put the tile on. So we're gonna knock that out real quick. I already did kind of some of the prep work here. I wiped down all of the walls. Uh, with a damp spongy and then I taped off the bathtub because I'm going to apparently you got to put this uh, curdy fix into the seam I did the method where I cut out the back of the drywall and that way it goes over the flange a little bit uh, I, I know I think there's other ways to do it where you just cut up to the flange but this is how I did it so I have to fill that whole crack all the way around and then put the all set and the curdy curdy band on it to seal that part and then we can go ahead and do the walls got a lot of this stuff too i am going to try to wear gloves today because from the last two days the cement is destroying my hands you can't really see it in the camera and this isn't even that bad because i i had to go buy lotion yesterday but it just dries out your hands so bad apparently it has high alkalinity or something which causes an imbalance in your ph and my hands were just on fire. My knuckles, it, it was like I've been in the cold weather, like freezing temperatures for weeks. So I'm going to try to wear gloves. If they are annoying and get in my way, I'll probably just take them off and deal with it. But uh, yeah, I gotta go mix up thin set. I guess let's just go for it. What's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> Our shower leaks? Just kidding, that would suck. Hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, get you set. Fill this gap nice and, this stuff is like $30, but I guess I'll be generous. I think I covered all the gaps. I kind of went through and double checked. Definitely, definitely made a mess. But that's not what matters, right? What matters is that no water gets in. It says a thin layer, so.
see if I could, since my wall is not that big, I think the pieces are 48. I could maybe go half and overlap. If I do the two inches, then I won't even need to do the curdy band seams. Oh, I just put my hand in it. Good thing I'm wearing gloves. As usual, that took much longer than anticipated, but we got it all done. Freaking mess, I'm not gonna lie. The last sheet, I was running a little low on drywall, so we'll see tomorrow, I mean, on, on, uh, on the cement, like find good cement anywhere I can to use it kind of thing on that and the fittings here. So we'll see tomorrow if, uh, if these are okay or if they gotta be redone. I think it's gonna be fine. The cement just wasn't as um, like fluid, you know, cause it was towards, it was the end of it, the last scrap. So it was, it was drier. So it was, it was a little bit, you know, thicker and definitely not ideal, but I had no more. So it is what it is. Hopefully it works. And if it doesn't, I guess we'll be redoing it. Almost 10 o'clock again. And uh, yeah, I wanted to grout today, but that's just not gonna happen. I'm, there's no way. So I am going to quickly prime this ceiling that's ready. So that way it won't be holding me back anymore. And then maybe tomorrow I could paint the ceilings and grout or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we did it, woo. Oh, and for this fitting, so I had a square mixer. They sell these in round. So what I did was I filled the whole gap around the hard piece uh, with the curdy fix, and then I just cemented up to it. This sheet overlaps and goes two inches this way, and then this one goes all the way. So it, you could just kind of see the lump a little bit right there. It goes just about to that line. So it overlaps, so I didn't have to put a curdy band in the corner, which saves me time and mud and um i keep calling it mud cement same thing over here this and and here these guys overlap this one i went a little bigger yeah, you, if you could feel it like right like around here somewhere but so this one overlaps and then this one overlaps as well all the way over here two inches so yeah and then this was the last piece i don't know if it really matters but i did it so this sheet was on top of all of them so that way if anything it kind of repels. Time to paint the ceiling. Looks like it actually uh, held up and did pretty good. I don't see no like air pocket holes or anything like that um, on the edges that might have been lifting up or something like that. Everything seems seems to be nice and secured, which is good news. Hopefully the tile stays on the wall. Uh, the, one, the one spot I did find is a little tiny air bubble right here see that so I'm gonna have to slice that and either patch it uh, with more curdy or I could probably use the curdy fix because it's like not even in the shower to be honest but anyway um, I am about to paint the ceiling really quick as you can see we're all covered up here that way we can uh, move this along look at that I mean come on guys out here patching ceilings and stuff. Okay, I was gonna use the little hand sprayer that I have, but uh, this guy's just so much easier to just knock it out with. And it has the extension piece, so that way I don't have to like get on a ladder up and down. The one bad thing about this machine is that it takes like a solid 30 minutes to clean, but I figured it would be better for me to just knock it out real quick and then clean while it dries, so it's, it's not a big deal. I'd rather just get the job done faster. I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to attempt to make the smallest little possible batch of all set. This is going to just be an eyeball consistency with uh, four, I think four ounces of water is even too much. I 
cut out a bigger patch because I had to cut the hole bigger than intended. I thought I was going to be able to just like cut a slot in it, but uh, no, you got to cut out the whole piece that's like not having contact. So I cut it bigger so that way we have two inch all the way around. Patchwork done. All right, now we can move on to painting these walls. Well, this color is definitely darker than I remember. It still looks patchy because this is only the first coat, but yeah, I thought that I had gotten like a really light gray. Apparently that is not the case. And it was just so long ago that I don't remember when I grabbed the color, but I was planning to do both bathrooms this color. And I don't think that's gonna happen now because the other bathroom is going to be all gray tiles. And that will just be like too dark, too overwhelming. This one, at least the shower tiles are gonna be white. So that will kind of like I don't know, give it a little bit something because <laughs> it's darker than I thought. But what are you going to do, you know? I bought the paint like, I don't know, six months ago. So we're sending it. All the colors. I don't care. We don't do samples. We just go for it. Yeah, you should probably do samples. So I'm going to finish up that last coat and then I'm going to finally grout the floor. Uh, I'm just going to knock it out real quick though because I'm running out of time. Running out of time for the day and I want to make sure that I get the floor grouted because Jason's supposed to come tomorrow and help me put in the toilet and the vanity, which I can't do unless the grout is done. So I just need to knock that out and I want to make sure I'm home for steak dinner. But uh, just so you guys know what I'm using, I'm going with the uh, Moppy Ultra Color Plus FA. This is the Chark. I don't know where it's at, but uh, there's usually like a little... Thing that says the color on it. Oh, here it is. I went with charcoal just so it's like just slightly lighter than the the actual tiles. Yeah, this stuff apparently you have to work with it really fast. So I'm gonna just do like sections so that I don't hopefully don't mess anything up too terribly. I'll just do like like four sections. And yeah, hopefully that goes well. So you guys will see it when it's all done. Okay, just finish it by hand. You're gonna mess up the ceiling. Why is it getting stuck? It's a big drill. It's almost through. This is a freaking mess. <laughs> That's right, let you do it. This sucks. Wait till the uh, insulation falls on you. <laughs> oh, it stayed. Okay, let's see. Woo! Well, that's nice. It's nice and bright. Got the fan installed as well. Does that work? Dang! This is looking nice. Look at my nice grouted floor. It looks a lot better than, you know, it's really dirty right now, but it's, uh, it's charcoal, you know? Now it's time to get a pooper back in here. It's in the little hole like that. That's why you got the whole like that poop or something. Here we go. Ready? Wait for you. I'm trying to crack it. They just gotta be flush, right? That's good, yeah. The wax will see the rest. We are laying out the tile for the shower to get that puppy 
going. Things are moving right along in here. Uh, this guy's not fully attached yet, but it's in place. Cut out some baseboards so that will be ready to go once I attach them. Toilet is ready to install. I had to order a new toilet. That's a whole other explanation I'll tell you about later. And uh, yeah, we just gotta scrape this puppy off and get this tile on the wall. You're making a mess. You need to control your mess. You want me to go control my mess or finish faster? Mountains of gall you have there. <laughs> you told me to put more. You told me to put more. Shit, show. I hurt my shirt. <laughs> you, you what? Forgot my shirt. What shirt? Shit, show for your Wait, wait, wait. Before you put those in, you gotta clean that behind there. You have to chisel all this off and then redo everything. You clean up yourself. Clean up. <laughs> okay, let's go. He rolled around the mud. You're rushing too much. Okay. Oh my god. First time tiling a wall? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell. You've only done it once. You thought I didn't do like this? Guys, we are clocking out. That took us way longer than anticipated, per usual. But at least we got the one main wall down. This was definitely my least favorite project out of the entire bathroom renovation. Tiling the shower freaking sucked. And I am happy that the tiling portion at least is done with. Wait, I see the screw you. Nope, I'm in. Well, how do we know where the hole is though? Wait, what's up? Why are you? How do we know? Hold on, don't push down yet. I think I got one spot to go. You think? Ready? Yeah. Push the button. Oh god, that was shit. Go down, down to the right. Oh, that, that back, back, back to the right, right there. There? It doesn't look like it's in, but yeah, it's in the holes. Yeah. Hey, we got a toilet. All right, water on. Check for leakies. So first up, our crimper. All right, no leaks at the crimp. Opening the water. Oh. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> it's water. Oh, it's just cold. I thought it was leaking for a second. Nothing? Nothing? Nice. I don't see no leakies out of here. Looks like we could pee in the house again. So I actually had a nicer toilet for this spot, but turns out this was a 10 inch on center rough in toilet, not the standard like 12 inch, which I didn't check before just because I didn't really think check anyway. So I've had the toilet, the other toilet that I was gonna put here for literally months. And then this was like a monkey wrench last minute that I had to find another 10 inch toilet. So it's definitely not as pretty as I'd hoped. I know pretty for a toilet, it's a little ridiculous to say, but it's uh, smaller than I had hoped as well, but it is what it is. It fits in the spot and it is bringing everything together nicely. Up, back, down.
Some of you guys that are familiar with tile might notice that it is a third overlap on the back wall and then half on the sides. I know this isn't the proper way to do it, uh, but it was intentional. Uh, I did this because I didn't really want to have the little like tiny baby pieces keeping it one third. So uh, yeah, it gives a little bit more lippage in some spots, not all, but it was something that I was okay with to avoid having those tiny tiles. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I'm not too happy with the tile. It uh, is kind of not the best, to be honest, but it is what it is. It's up now, everything is good. Unfortunately, I ran out of time, so I didn't get to grout everything, but I cleaned out the lines. So that way, when I come back, I don't have to like scrub off hours and hours of cement and make my life miserable. So we'll be ready to grout next time. Cleaned up the tub, there was a bunch of stuff all over that too, so got that guy cleaned up. The only thing left to do in the shower other than grouting, once the grout is done, is just to put the silicone to seal up, you know, all of the main seams around the, the bottom of the tub, all that stuff, and throw on the fixtures, which we are ready to go with those as well. This mirror is pretty sick. You know, a little boop, boop, boop. I think I like the first one though. Hee <laughs> hee. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do something different than re regular traditional mirror. Don't mind these, they're not in yet. So I'm fixing some last minute plumbing down there, so that's why that looks like that. But other than that, this guy is looking good. I like how the vanity looks with the black floor. Came together really, really nice. And we got a little towel rack here for the hand towel. I was going to put a big towel rack there. I actually have it, but I don't know. I feel like it's a little too close to the toilet. I wasn't completely sold on it. So I also have like two black hooks. I'm thinking I put them right here or maybe even just one. This is where the door swings open to, so it will be blocked. Anyway, or maybe I end up putting the towel rack there. I just wasn't 100% sold on it, so I just wanted to wait before making any holes, and I'll see once everything's done what I kind of decide. Maybe just put a picture there or something. I don't know. I just wet the tile, so it's kind of like half and half drying, uh, but overall, I am really happy with how everything came out. Shout out to Jason for helping me with the uh, shower tiles. That took way longer than expected. Was a big, big pain in the ass, and had he not helped me, it would have probably taken like two weeks by itself. <laughs> there are some imperfections that other people may not pick up on, but I do obviously because I did it. And I just have to kind of keep reminding myself that I am not a professional. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. Yeah, overall, it looks pretty freaking good. There you have it guys, my bathroom transformation. Next time I come up, this guy will be done. I just need like another day to do all those last minute things, but Woo! That was a ride. I am literally about to miss my flight right now, so I have got to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.